Hey guys, it's Carrie here. I'm back with another video. This time it's another Note 9 video. This time I'm running Windows on Samsung's Dex using the Note 9. So. Um, whatever title that I have in this, it's like, might be a little bit clickbaity, but it's all in marketing. So, this is a really fun video. I'm excited to show you guys the amazing programs I was able to try on Windows. Like, I'm running Windows on a virtual PC using Splash Top. And also another note, um, different hairstyle, still me. So, wanted to get that out of the way. So, I'm really excited for this video. I, I just got a brand new monitor. It's this Acer, Acer monitor. I don't know the exact model. Reviews coming up on it soon on the channel. But for now, I really wanted, like, I was so excited to try Windows on a virtual PC. No, not virtual PC, remote PC. <laughs> no, um, remote desktop um, using Splash Top. And this was my experience on it. And, all right guys. So, Splash Top um, has been the best app to use for a remote display that I found on my Note 9. I watch a lot of other videos, but none of the other apps will work with the Note 9. I think it's because of the new, um, the latest update to Android, I'm not sure. So, TeamViewer wasn't working, Remote Desktop, like the default one by Microsoft wasn't working. So, the only one that was working was Splash Top. And it worked out perfectly. And on the on the Note 9, the Samsung Dex mode, it goes full screen and there's literally no latency. I don't know if it's because my router is like right next underneath my desk or anything, but everything runs smoothly. My favorite part was um, being able to run Premiere Pro on my Note 9 and I feel like that's just crazy. I know, I know it's, I'm using my Cintiq, it's another computer, it's not all powered by the Note 9, but it's still, it's, I find it really cool that I was able to run a lot of apps amazing on this and with Splash Top I was able to use desktop shortcuts perfectly uh, with Premiere like to make the windows full screen and whatnot so that was really exciting so after um, trying out Premiere Pro and editing on it for a while um, that was an older video that I posted one of my animations so you guys can check that out um, here and that I edited in Premiere Pro um, and the good thing about like using uh, Windows on a remote desktop on the Note 9, um, do, <laughs> on the Note 9 Samsung um, Dex is that you could quickly switch back and forth between two different operating systems and I found that really cool and I can't wait till um, Samsung gets um, more apps optimized for this and also to be able to actually run Windows on a virtual PC compared to remote desktop experience. I'm more excited about that. That will definitely show the power of the Note 9. I definitely think it's it can't handle it enough. And by trying to log in on the Note 9 Samsung Dex, I found out that Dex is actually based off Linux. So I found that really pretty interesting, just throwing that out there. And so for the rest of this video, I'm just going to show you the different apps that I use in using the using Splash Top um, in my Samsung Dex. And so Samsung Dex Note 9, I have to mention Note 9 because um, the other remote desktop running windows on Samsung Dex videos, they're all done on um, not the Note 9. So a lot of the apps that I tried, that's why I couldn't even record on my screen. Even with this update, I can't, still can't find a good app to record on my screen for Samsung Dex. So this was just all my camera work. So the first app that I used after Premiere was Photoshop. I tried Photoshop on there and Photoshop ran okay actually. They didn't run that smoothly and I don't know if it's my Wi-Fi connection or anything. It was a little bit laggy using some of the layers and just like making like a text little gradient and playing around with that. But being able to have that option, I still find it amazing. And so the next program that I did use with it is Adobe Illustrator. That one ran a lot more smoothly for some reason. I don't understand because the file that I had on on Photoshop I had less layers compared to the one that I use in Illustrator. So this project I'm covering up a little bit. It's like stuff from work and I don't want you guys to know where I work and like 
Um, I want to put that on the internet and stuff so people can find me. So um, this is a project that I was working on for at work and it's nice to be able to do, do this because for some reason my Cintiq companion, the first gen, I got an adapter for it and but it wouldn't work with this monitor, the HDMI. I still need to call Wacom and ask them for a simple question and I will do an updated review on that since it's not working with this monitor which is a bummer. So having this is actually really beneficial for my workflow and uh, especially for this project that I was working on for Illustrator I was able to double check the colors because the color accuracy isn't that good on the Cinti Companion first gen and so it was really nice to be able to see it on a bigger screen and not such a tiny screen so uh, I'm happy Illustrator went so smoothly and the next app that I tried is Dreamweaver Dreamweaver um, I'm a web developer uh, front-end web developer, HTML and CSS, so I was able to run that. I didn't get a chance to test it out too much, but it ran pretty okay from just like editing the just the just my index page for my portfolio and my whole website I'm redesigning. And so the next app that I tried after that actually I tried to run Paint Tool Sock and it, it ran, but you can't draw on it. I tried. I, I wish that, like, I wish you, um, Samsung. I wish Samsung released their dual monitor mode so that way I can mirror at the same time. But I tried that. It, the, it didn't really, the aspect didn't work. So, but at least get it open it. So, but that's why I like this feature that um, running Windows is really good for like design work and video editing and. I prefer it for that than just drawing because the Samsung Dex Dual Canvas mode, that's for drawing. I did a whole other video on that you guys can click up in the card. And so yeah guys, and also another um, thing that I did try with it is um, Adobe After Effects. That's also, besides Photoshop, I'm on the app that didn't run as well. I think that's because of my, I, I don't know if that one's because of my computer and my connection, because my Cintiq usually doesn't run Adobe After Effects that good because it's all GP, GPU instead of CPU. So it, it loaded it, it, playback was horrible. I couldn't get any playback. So uh, After Effects is not good for this. And I, but one thing that was surprisingly ran good on this was actually playing games on Steam. Well, I played Skullgirls. not a high graphic demanding game but it ran better than Photoshop and After Effects so um, I ran it on this and I did like two rounds and um, I kind of did really bad with this it's, it's been a while since I played uh, so I had fun with that and saying that on a bigger screen again um, that's coming from someone who used the Note 9 and the Cinti Companion 1 as their main device so this workflow works pretty nicely so i had a lot of fun during this video so hopefully you guys learn something new and interesting and um if you guys do have the note 9 i recommend getting the little adapter to try samsung decks because there's so many things that you could so because now you could just have just like your phone plugged in and you could access your pc even if it's like far away maybe you have it in your living room um, for me, um, I just have it in my home office until I build my PC. So, um, this was just like a fun video to test out and um, I can't wait for Samsung to release more features for Dex. More apps are getting more compatible each and every week or so because some apps weren't able to run before. So I'm happy that Splashtop works, at least for the Note 9. So, um, that's it guys. I can't think of anything else. Um, also, one more thing. I'm rebranding my website, so uh, it's all done in WordPress now instead of just me building it up straight up HTML and CSS. So that means that each tech video will have its own blog post. So if you guys want some more information, there's going to be a related blog post up shortly, probably after this video is uploaded and then in a couple hours. So just check the link in the description if you want some more information that I probably 
didn't get a chance to add in the video. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time and keep in post notification for new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!